Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multiphysics. DRD seldom supports ANSYS software in the central United States. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our mission is to help clients maximize their utilization of ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. The purpose of this demonstration is to show how to create an ANSYS customer portal account. And the first step is to go from our web browser and go to the ANSYS website at ANSYS.com. And from there we go to the customer portal and we have this login information. So if you already have an account, as I do, you can just go ahead and log in. Uh, if you don't have an account, uh, I'll show you how to create an account. Uh, the first step is to hit this button, Customer Registration, which brings up a form, which is, for the most part, simple to fill out. For most, most part, you just fill in information that you have, such as your email address, your name, phone number, and so forth. But there are two pieces of information in this form that tend to trip people up, and those are company name and then the account number, uh, also called customer number. The company name and the customer number have to be typed in uh, in exactly the right format and exactly uh, as shown in the ANSYS customer records. There are a couple of ways of getting that information, and one, uh, this button here is very helpful to uh, find out about these ways. You can hit the button, not sure how to retrieve your, retrieve your ANSYS customer number, and that button will take you to a page of information that shows different ways of obtaining both your customer number and your customer name. And I think the first way shown is the simplest. When your company receives uh, the license key for ANSYS, that comes in an email, and that email will contain a banner that lists both the company name and the customer ID. Uh, and for example, right here, we're showing the, uh, the customer ID right below that is the customer name. So that information needs to be typed in this form exactly as, uh, as shown on that, uh, on that email. And there are a couple of other ways in that, in that page that shows you how to get this information. If you still have problems, you can hit this button, uh, contact me. Uh, once you have typed information in, you just hit the register button, and then you should be hearing from ANSYS with the logon information for your account. And of course, if you have questions, you can contact your ANSYS technical support provider, whether that be ANSYS Direct or an ANSYS channel partner. And that concludes the demonstration.